Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show the assembly of the LCD Pi uh, stand that I made here. And let's just move the pieces. You can see that I have the Pi assembled uh, in its standard configuration with the 7 inch Raspberry Pi uh, touchscreen. It will not work with this put in the low profile mode, it needs to be in the uh, normal. Uh, configuration which is the high mode so the first thing you want to do is you want to take the piece that's the backer board and you'll notice uh, you can't see it here because I already put the little pads in but there are four small squares when you print this on your 3d printer and uh, this is where you need to put the pads that are going to be the pressure pads to hold the unit in place uh, what I did is I used felt feet. Uh, I cut them about one centimeter by one centimeter. Or at least that was the goal. They're not really there, but and I've got four layers. Uh, I don't know the exact dimension. It's a little bit less than a centimeter thick. You can play with it to get the exact thickness as you put it together. And uh, you're gonna put them at the four spots which are marked on the bottom under here. Once you have those, you want to turn this unit over and you're going to use a little bit of glue and all you're going to do is you're going to take let's see if this is going to come out of here for me looks like uh, we're going to have a bit of a oh, there we go you're going to take a little bit of silicone glue and you just need to put it in the edge in a couple spots not a lot this thing does fit reasonably snug and this is just to hold it in place you can see there's some glue from when I tried it once before and it held fine you just want to put a little bit in there and there you don't need to put any in the front corner here because over here you'll notice I don't know if you can see it in the camera but everything is recessed so when the piece goes in it will uh, lock in on the nose so the CPU box this will only go in one way this channel here was put on it to accommodate the ribbon cable and uh, you're just going to take and you're going to slide it in so that you put it in on the edge first slide it under there and then just lay it down in and that's just going to sit just like that flip the unit over and put it down that's the easy part well actually the whole thing is pretty easy take your raspberry pi assembly Again, this can only go in one way because you have the channel for where the ribbon cable lays. And between this channel and the spacing here, there won't be any kinking. You won't damage this connection here. And you're just going to take this, flip it over, and you're going to lay it in that hole and just set it right down. It'll set right down on those pads. No worries. That's the nice, easy setting. And then, after you have that in place, you're just going to take... The bezel piece now this is the front display piece which would normally go on just like this but what you want to do is take another set of those little pads and you want to put those pads here 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 and here and what they're going to do is they'll press right up against the edge of your LCD display out of sight but they'll provide a little bit of uh, soft padding so that nothing is going to scratch it from the plastic it won't rattle around it'll hold it snug and it'll be a nice clean space for the way it's put together. So with those in place, flip it over. This you want to make sure you put it in so that this little pocket here is pressed up against the back. The benefit there is it gives you a little bit of a spot where you're going to place your uh, stylus as storage. And for the most part, that's all there is to the assembly. To hold it together, the way this is held together is actually the stand You'll notice the stand here is recessed and all you're going to do is you're going to take the unit holding it together so it doesn't come apart and you're going to take the two pieces and you're going to slide them right into that stand. That acts as your bottom layer clip to hold everything in place. When it's in place the top wants to separate as you can see. You take this last piece of clip it's notched to accommodate the little part for your camera. Flip it over, and this will go right on top. 
You don't want to really glue any of these pieces in because you don't know if you're going to have to go back inside your Raspberry Pi at one point to uh, make it work. And with everything in place, oops, with everything in place where it's supposed to be, you have the display. When it's fully assembled, if you look on the unit, you have access to all of your different ports. Everything is readily available for assembly. Um, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to put my little uh, keyboard dongle in here. If I can make sure I put it in the correct way, it would be okay. That goes in right there. And that'll let my keyboard function as it's supposed to. I don't have power over here where I'm sitting, but you'll be able to see what it looks like basically when I have it all setting in front of one another. And that is the ice pick designed uh, Raspberry Pi 3 with the 7 inch LCD touch display mini computer.